here at Morning Cultists. In our previous episode, we left things off after taking out a couple of Mazamundi's armies, but unfortunately, there's still a whole bunch left scurrying around. And then there's also this Bray herd here, which I don't think is going to be a problem. If anything, they might pester Mazdamundi, but um, I don't think they're going to risk it right now. We'll see, though. I'm hoping that Gainash here doesn't actually go for the temple or for Tlansla, but they most likely will. Yeah, because they are at war with each other and all that such. Hmm. Really wanted to take this for myself, but we might be able to incite a rebellion or maybe set up some kind of like um under empire thing and then just blow it up or something. I don't know. We'll see. We may end up in a war with the uh, Blessed Dread, but again, I'm hoping that we don't. Okay, so do we need to upgrade anything else before we end the turn? I guess we might as well work on the Overseer's Lookout here, unless... Wait, what about the Great Turtle Isle? Alright, so that's been completed, so if we start taxing them... Oh, you know what? Uh, looks like we'll be able to just um, negate the Public Order Malice, so... Sure, I guess we'll continue with that. Alright, then in that case... Um, let's see. We should actually see a net positive to this. But I would like to increase the corruption here, so we'll go with that. And what else can we do? What other buildings shall I build right now? Or should we just wait? We may want to save up our money. Actually, we're making 10,000 buckaronis now. Nice. Very nice. Um, Clan Barracks in the Lost Valley? Or... Wait. Northern Great Jungle. You know what? Let's just save our money. That's fine. There's no rule saying that we need to um, spend all of it um, in one place. Yeah, I should actually learn to uh, be a little bit better with my money. <laughs> Both in-game and in real life. Whoa. Interesting. I thought Nakai was actually going to uh, try to settle some of the um, provinces that are empty in the jungles of the Green Mist. But uh, surprisingly enough, they have turned back around. Not what I thought would happen. Oh, no. Really? They own Skeggy? Oh, man. So if I take Swamp Town and Port Reaver... Ah, uh, shoot. We may need to incite a rebellion here somehow. Hmm. I mean, we'll see. Where are they going? I'm assuming they're going towards Tlonsla. Uh, there's no way for us to stop them, is there? No, I don't think so. Dang it. We might lose that. Yeah. Alright, well, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Rut Karuta. Innovative Eastern techniques of armor assembly make it slightly less dangerous for the sorcerer to be in range of their enemy's attacks. Cathayan training. Those of Eshin knowledgeable in the Cathayan art of war are few and far in between using their learned secrets to advance the brood's malevolence. Interesting. Not gonna lie, none of them really interest me, so maybe we'll go with spread and corruption, or should we go for... I guess we could potentially have Engenbolt join an army, so... Sure, let's work on your magic stuff too. Mm. Okay, well, there's not much we can do about that. So Adam, why don't you get in close to Spectazuma? Wait. What's the situation here? Huh. We could actually just have Adam uh, attack Spectazuma right off the bat. Thankfully, Ad uh, Avalon can just skip right through their, um, the corrupted territory. But Ikit, I'm assuming... Oh! Yeah, because I guess we can just uh, trape through, through the um, woods there. Sure. Adam, getting close, but I'd say we might as well just wait until next turn before we attack that place. And Seinlet, continue work. Nope, not Valmir von Preistoff, but rather damage the walls that do not exist in Hexwater. Because I'm pretty sure their um, wall level is down to 0%. Is it? It is indeed. Fantastic. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade this to the Skaven Stronghold. And we have 4,000 buckaronis left over. Um... You know what, I'm going to prioritize the Temple of the Horned Rat because I do want to get the uh, Warlock uh, Master pumped out soon enough. What? Really? Oh man. The Public Order is stabilizing. That's 
Ah, that's annoying. Shit. All right, so we may need to maybe get ourselves another hero to increase the corruption here. Replace the vampire corruption, right? Hmm. All right, what can we do to uh, incite a rebellion there without going to war with Silostra? Not that I'm really concerned about going to war with them, but, um, you know, it'd just be a little, uh, I guess, less messy if I could somehow, you know, not get involved personally. But, I don't know. We may need to. We may need to. It's just, I feel like we are making a decent amount of money, so, from trade, so, you know, I would like to encourage that with, uh, other people as well. Alright, let me see if there's anything I can build. Wait, I should be able to get a... No, not there. But in the... Volcanic Islands, we should be able to get... There we go, construction cabin started. Nice. Alright, speaking of trade... Would anyone like to open up a new trade route with me? The Exiles of Nehek. Do not wow. They are so jazzed for this uh, trade agreement. Fantastic. Thank you. Who else? Uh, Silostra. Just in case. Oh, come on, Noctilus. What's the matter with you, man? Unbelievable. Nagron, what about you? No? Okay, well. Why be a little bitch? Oh, if you the tower You're still angry at me, aren't you? Wow. This guy just does not let, uh, let grudges go by, does he? Absolutely not. Bit of a pissant, I guess. And I think we moved everyone right now. Yep. Okay, so we'll take over Spectazuma next turn. And then I might actually send someone down south to take over the rest of the, um, region. Although... I think our... No time. Advanced Spare armies are probably better spent um, attacking the uh, Hexwaddle, so maybe not. I might just wait until we can get ourselves another Warlock Master um, as high level as possible before we, uh, you know, pump them out. So that we can get the- Ah, oh, shit. Alright, well, I figured it might happen, so I suppose it's not that big of a surprise. It's just, you know, kind of annoying, I guess. Hmm. All right, um, can we by any chance build any more uh, of the Temple of the Horned Rat stuff? We can upgrade our settlements, but I think, oh no, not that one. Still at level four. Okay, so we can upgrade this and potentially get some more Herald of Decay. The fuck is that? I kind of wish the achievements were a little bit easier to d discern uh, what they are just by their names, but you know what, that's fine. <laughs> I could just look it up, but that's um, not really a big issue. Uh, so wait, let me take a look at uh, which places are making the most money. So Northern Great Jungle, we have one of the uh, Warpstone reactors being built. Uh, we could upgrade this here, but I think it's more important that we have one to begin with. So then maybe the Southern Great Jungle, we might want to build another one there. Yeah, we could build some more military buildings. Mmm, which might not be a bad idea. Then I think maybe we can do, what we can do is maybe get rid of the scrap heap and then build something else there instead. But having that here does reduce the recruitment cost, which is pretty nice. Hmm, I'm hoping that that stacks. That should stack, right? I think it should. I mean, I suppose there's no hard and fast rule saying that we need to uh, build everything in every uh, location. It'd just be nice to have, like, a couple of a military powerhouses. Uh, so if we build one here... We should potentially see... A fair bit more income. Yeah, you know what? Go for it. And the Northern Spine of Sotek. I guess we can make one here, too. Sure. Or... Are we... Yeah, I guess Northern Spine of Sotek is less of a military powerhouse, so sure. Southern Spine of Sotek, definitely not a military place, so we'll go for that uh, cane generator. All right, I think we're GEWDQ'd for the time being. And the public order is improving in various places. You know what? Go for the breeding pit, and maybe we can... Ah, there we go. We've negated their public order stabilizing. What the... Really? I thought these guys were, um... 
Wow, I guess they were able to recruit uh, units pretty quickly. All right, well, that's fine. Unfortunate, but oh well. All right, let's see. Simus, why don't you get in close? And Adam, getting as close as humanly possible. And Ikit, you'll be the one to do the actual attacking because you have the most varied troops, as uh, same as before. Wait, hold on, hold on. Ah, shoot, I should have um, destroyed the walls a little bit more. Yeah, break the siege. My bad. I'm sorry. Engenbolt? Shit, we don't have money. Crap. What can I stop the construction of so that we can um, afford that? I didn't spend all my money on just um, upgrading those things or building those things, did I? I may have. I thought, oh, there we go. Yeah, get rid of that because that's not super necessary right now. And Ingenbolt, where you be? Go for it, kid. Atta fucking boy. And we'll get you to finish your off uh, your warp stars. Right, it seems warp attack can level up before we attack them. So I guess we'll go for precision. Sure. Right, Ikit. Let's do this, buddy. Let's do this. Nah. We'll do this manually, of course. Because I think this will be the first time we tussle with the orcs. And I would like to see their... You know, soft and supple green bodies bleed profusely because if there's if you can't enjoy that in life what is there to enjoy Gorfang is their leader wait he's an he's a gremlin though or no a goblin gremlin <laughs> what the f what the fuck am i playing apparently not uh, warhammer it seems unless gremlin gremlins actually do exist in this world all right, so their forts, uh, their towers are slightly damaged, but uh, not entirely. I think what we'll most likely do is just bum rush them. Yeah, I don't think we need to sit back and um, watch their uh, towers just pelt us, right? No, probably not. All right, let's see. So storm, storm vermin, obviously a same group. Mm, rat ogres next. Gisales. And I think the rest of you guys can just do whatever the fuck you want. Uh, I don't think these dudes will be super useful. All right, um, mortars, we might need you to move around a little bit, but that's fine. Yeah, the uh, guys who won't be going through the walls will most likely just have to um, be sequestered there. And I think that's good. All right, guys, let's do this. Bum rush them. Let's have Ikit just uh, move towards their savage orcs and I guess we'll have our assassin try to um, get up close let's see do we want to go after you know what go after these dudes or those dudes rather and the storm vermin with halberds you guys can go after the um, guys in the boars so axe infantry all right so they're damage dealers but they're not anti-large or anything like that and, oh, wait, I see the, uh, Lord. There you go, go after him. Alright, Avalon and Adam, you guys can, uh, group up. Oh, shit, got ourselves another assassin. All right, assassin team, go kill him. Rip his dick off. Specifically his dick. No other part of his body shall be harmed. Because, uh, well, we only really need to collect the dick. Okay. You have a fuck ton of more dudes coming in. Shit. Uh, these are spearmen, right? Oh, shit, my bad. There we go. And you guys are the regular dudes. Um, I kind of wish this was a little bit easier sometimes. Oh, well. Not to imply that this is hard, but, you know. Group three, and you guys are also group three. Go for it, kids. Everyone just bum rush, and it gets already in there. Fantastic. That's the kind of enthusiasm that I want to see in everyone. All right, uh, I guess you might as well have the warp grinders maybe destroy the towers? That one's apparently been taken over. Wow. Interesting. Um, then maybe... Oh, no. You've taken that one over, too. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Uh, guys, we need you in here. And Balequint, can we do a Crack's Call? How close are you right now? Fairly close. Let's do this before the rest of our units get in here. 
We have some of the rat ogres already uh, getting stuck in. But we may be able to... Yeah, there we go. I think that'll be a good angle, hopefully. Go for it. Annihilate. You can do it. I believe in you. Nice. Very nice. All right, let's get another one of these here. Where are you guys? You guys are both on your rat ogre mounts. Nice. I wonder if the rat ogre mounts are a little bit bigger than the rat ogres themselves. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think they're a little bit bigger. I could be wrong, but, um... Oh, no. Rattling gunners? What do you guys... Oh, no. Okay, they're being attacked by those dudes. Unfortunate. Uh, let's get you guys over that side. Okay. Move over this way, please. And we might need to... Well, we don't need to, but it would be nice to get you guys in there. Alright, uh, we should probably attack this savage orc, orc arrow boys on the, um, walls, no? Or we don't really need to, because I don't think we need to uh, worry about that too much. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got this in hand. I'm pretty, pretty sure. Pick it! How are you getting on? Being attacked by, uh, boar boys, eh? Alright, well, that's fine. Um, and you guys are getting stuck in with the wrong dudes. But that's fine. Yeah, we got this for sure. I mean, it's not really concerned considering how uh, much we outnumber them, and this is just a formality, if anything. Uh, can we get Bailquint or Doomclaw to do another Brax call? Uh, soon. Not right now. Alright, we're good. Okay, um, have you guys already killed the Lord? Wow. That was fast. Holy shit. Unless he's booked it. I didn't see a notification saying that the Lord is dead, but, um, oh no. Doom players are getting a little hurt, it seems. Wow. Didn't think, didn't think that the, uh, Savage Orcs would do that much damage. But I guess they're kind of living up to their reputation of being, um, damage dealers and all that such. Alright, well, why don't you guys get stuck in with those dudes? Um, Stormburn, uh, kill off the rest of the boars. And you guys are still okay to do nothing. You know what? Don't fire upon our own troops, please. Yeah, I think we're... Oh, no. You're actually... Oh, right. I guess we're taking some collateral damage by, uh... Via the, uh, mortars. Ugh. Unfortunate, but whatever. Pick it. Let's do this. I'm hoping... Oh, no. Their lord's still there. Assassins. You guys did not listen to me at all. Whoa. Nice. Very nice. All right, there we go. We should have enough, um... Magic for another uh, Cracks call, except I think our troops are too intermingling with their troops. So maybe then we'll do a Cracks call over here. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Go for it. Stupid. Oh, nice. Actually, you know what? Mortars, why don't you guys go attack the uh, Arrow Boys too? Nice. Assuming that they stick around, which I don't think they will. Nope, they're booking it. At least one of them's booking it. And, uh, Ikit, how are you getting on? I guess you're having a hard time pushing through the, uh, boar boys, aren't you? Alright, well, we have some, uh, spearmen on the side, so we can have them, uh, flank them. And that should be that. What about you? Nice. Go for it. Atta boy. So what's happening with these guys right now? Uh, I'm assuming they're diseased? Wait, what's, what is that? Because I think um, either the Plague Claw Catapult or something else has the ability to... It must be the Contagion thing then, right? Hmm... What exactly does a Contagion do? Besides being a disease, of course. Alright, there we go. So one of them is affected. Uh, oh, shit. Can I... Poison Wind? Oh, it's a damage over time, and that also reduces their leadership. I see. Very nice. Alright, well, I guess we're done here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, oh, no. They're still sticking around. Wow. I am genuinely surprised. I thought they'd just be uh, trying to book it by now, but apparently they're um, somehow holding in there. Which is very surprising. Come on. Let's go home, orcs. Let's go home. A horm? Sorry, I don't know what a horm is. I'm assuming it's some combination of a... Um, home where they're perpetually horny, which for some, like myself, is just 
basically home. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess you guys might as well just work on the uh, war boys then. Fucking hell. How are you guys still intact? Jeez. The green skins I knew and grew up with are always just kind of like little bitches, but um, I guess not these guys. Alright, so our assassins are getting stuck in with them, but... Oh, no. I think that's it. Nice. Alright, Spectazuma. It's been nice knowing you. Dumb son of a bitch. Oh. No, wait, I think Grebit's Bootlicka is their leader. So, is he still alive? Hmm. That's concerning, because I'm pretty sure... His army was outside trying to recruit troops. Huh. Okay, well, hopefully... Um... We can just finish him off. Yeah, one remaining, so his army is actually still intact. Damn it. Alright, sack that shit. And... We'll get someone else to finish off Grebits, I think. Now, uh, Ikit... Can't take... Ah, oh, fuck. It's because we got him to um, move back and then go back in there. You know what? That's fine. Simus, why don't you go ahead and uh, occupy this shit? All right. So, Spectazuma is the uh, capital of this region. So, I guess we might as well just... Um, I don't want that there. Thank you very much. Gem Mineshaft. Interesting. All right. Well, let's go for the Rattling Warns and we'll also get ourselves the Rubbish Pit. Oh wait, no, let's get the uh, gem mine shaft and then we'll build the um, Taskmaster's platform in that uh, section there. And Adam, you have the honor to, of destroying Grebits. Attaboy. Dead as shit. Nice. Blade of Corruption. Ooh, magical attacks and poison attacks. Alright, so you have this sort of anti-heroes which increases your melee attack as well as... Enabling magic attacks. Um, we also have a mechanical claw. Oh, right. That was uh, Ikit's former weapon. Right. Then I guess we might as well give Avalon some upgrades here. Uh, so let's give Avalon the mechanical claw. Oh, Talisman of Preservation. Ward save. Yes, please. Bale Quint isn't really going to do much uh, melee attacking. Mm, let's see. Who else? Adam? I think... Can we give you some better stuff? I mean, it's a slight decrease, but it does give him poisonous attacks, which is pretty nice, I think. Alright, um... The ability is also nice as well, but considering I don't really pay enough attention to be able to do those things, let's not worry about that. Alright, I think we're good. Who's this? Oh, Avalon. No, nope, this is Bailquint. Sorry. Let's get you finishing off triangulation. Nice. Alright, so we'll start moving up north. And Ungrol here is cyberbullying the people of Floating Pyramid. Hmm. What can we do about this situation? Besides continuing to increase the corruption to a point where we might be able to incite a rebellion. Actually, let me see if there's any other buildings that we can upgrade that we might want to prioritize first as in uh maybe that but i was kind of hoping for the temple of the uh, horned rat stuff all right uh so far nothing nope nothing unbelievable really so we've upgraded all of our upgradable stuff into the temple of the horned rat stuff okay well sure i guess we'll go for the skaven stronghold there then and any other locations that we can upgrade. One watches me. Okay, Avalon. Mm, I guess we might as well get you to the border here. Unless you can get there and raid, which I don't think you can. Alright, then you might as well just stay in our territory and replenish your health. Silent, continue with the harassing of Hexawaddle. You failed, again! Unbelievable. Wow, you, I mean, you should be able to just do this in your sleep at this point, right? No? Good grief, this guy. Doomclaw, uh, get more arms dealer, and who else has leveled up? Oh no, the mad. Cannot finish off replenished troops just yet. Let's get you venomous blades. Nice. 
Right, Adam. Um, I don't think we want you to uh, mess around with that right now. So why don't we get you to the border so that we can get you guys to uh, launch an attack on the floating pyramid next turn. Sure. Okay, Ingen Bolt has... Oh, right. Pahwax is the uh, capital here, so I guess we should have... Ingen Bolt uh, move towards there, unless they have walls in these settlements, which I don't think they do. Hmm. No, I don't think they do. We should also look into maybe doing some of these rights. We could get ourselves a Doom Engineer to uh, establish a an under city, but I don't know if there's anything that I really want to do right now, except maybe in Tlantzla. So can I get myself a hero, a Warlock Engineer? We can, except we just don't have the money. Uh, then let me quickly change that. Hmm. What am I building that I can up or cancel? We could just wait until next turn. But, no. I'm not going to do that. I want to get this done sooner rather than later. Oh, so we can't recruit one there. Alright, so I guess the closest place would be Chakwa then. Okay, so do we want to get ourselves Toxidin? Uh, armor piercing damage and melee attack, or tough or sharp claws. Let's go with Pustin here. Yeah. Alright, so let's get you to, I guess, work on that. And specialist, sure. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. So we'll get Pustin to uh, maybe establish an undercity in Tlantzla, and then perhaps blow it up. Yeah, that'll be good. That will be good. Oh, no. Um, any chance that you guys can peace out with them? Because I would rather not lose you guys, because they're decent trade partners. Oh, well, you may speak your words. Mm. Alright. No Are you sure you don't want to get a trade agreement, Noctilus? You dumb son of a bitch. It would benefit the both of us. I mean, it's not like you guys are going to attack me anytime soon, right? Or are you? Where are they going? They're just going to leave the floating py pyramid behind? Wow. Huh. Well, I mean, I guess they see our uh, armies gathering at the border, so they're pissing themselves silly. Fair enough, but still. All right, Doomclaw has leveled up. Fantastic. Let's get you to finish off Arms Dealer. And Jungles of the Green Mist. We'll go ahead and build that uh, Taskmaster's platform, followed by the Rattling Warrens. Nice. And we have a shit ton of money. Okay, where is... There you are. Alright, Pustin. Please establish an under-empire in Tlantzla. It's kind of a shame that the heroes can't um, use the underway themselves, but I guess it kind of makes sense because they need a giant army to be able to uh, big a, dig all that, uh, do all that digging, right? Okay, Ungrol. I don't like you guys being in the way, so I'm just going to go ahead and declare war on your, on your ass. Specifically, only on your ass in a non sexual capacity. And Adam, I guess we might as well just get these guys in position because we're going to be attacking the settlement, anyways. Make it. Go for it. Nice. Get the fuck out of here with your awesome minotaurs and shit. Eat them. Oh boy. <laughs> they did not last long at all. Okay, Adam, getting close. Or unless you're actually in position to be able to reinforce, which I don't think you are. Alright, let's do this, guys. Loading pyramid, take it over. Fantastic. Alright, sack that shit. And... Skalm. Oh. Interesting. So I guess that's just like a healing thing. And a scarecrow banner. Now we don't need that shit. Wait, was it Adam that I wanted to send in there? Well, you know what? That's fine. Decision's already been made. Um, though I guess I should have used Ikid instead. Considering that he can't move as uh, much as the other guys. Alright, so we want to take the High Sentinel next. Um, do we just go through the woods? Or is it better to... I guess it is better to just go through the woods. Sure. Avalon, can you get in close? Yes, you can. Okay. Who needs to level up? 
How destroyed are your walls? <laughs> Very. <laughs> so honestly, you should be able to just do this in your sleep. I mean, this is what you've been doing for years. This is your specialty. This is all you know. And now we can get him as a uh, plague furnace. Nice. Uh, copper desert. We can upgrade the settlement here. I guess we might as well. And we have a crap ton of money. Um, let me quickly see if there's anything that we can build that I would like to build right now. We can upgrade the kilns, potentially get some more trade stuff, or build something in the volcanic islands, or maybe the headhunter's jungle. We can get ourselves another construction cavern and then get um, more warlock engineers and all that such. Or we can upgrade these things and finally get ourselves a hell pit abomination, which I think would be pretty cool. But you know what? I'm going to go for the emerald uh, pools instead. I know it's a little disappointing, but, um, you know, it will help us out uh, farther down the road, I think. All right. Uh, I guess we'll... I guess not having the rubbish pit would increase the corruption a little bit faster. Hmm. So should we just destroy this for the time being? You know what? We'll just destroy that for the time being. Oh, wait. No, I guess we don't need to do that here. Oh, wait, no. It's in Talansla, so yeah, we do want to get the corruption up higher. And we'll go ahead and upgrade that too. Public order in the Scorpion Coast is good. Um, Forgotten Isles. We're not making a ton of money here, so I don't think that's going to be super necessary. Mm, then let's go for... I guess maybe something in the Floating Pyramid. Yeah, get that corruption started sooner rather than later. But if we don't, hold on. If we don't, then we can maybe get ourselves another uh, one of the, yeah, these things, the construction cavern. There we go. I think that's good. Bail Quint, this is your second to last level up, I think. So what do we want to get you? We finished this line pretty much. I don't think I really want Overseer. So, either we go with something down here, and get ourselves two points, or... You know what, let's go for Sneaky and Trixie. Yeah, that'll be good. Adam, let's get you Immortality. Fantastic, and who else? Avalon. Uh, let's work on... Woundmaker, or Ruin and Decay. Or Expeditious Endeavor. I think let's go for Woundmaker. Which is, of course, the, um crappy off-brand version of uh, Mentos, the fresh maker. It just makes your mouth bleed profusely. Which could be fun for some people, but um, you know, that's only if you're kind of into it. And yeah, no I think immortality is going to be important for our dudes. Because it seems that the AI really likes trying to uh, wound our guys and kill them and whatnot. Wow, lots of level ups here. Is that it? Nope, apparently there's more. Good grief. Oh no, still not? What the fuck? At rank 10, okay, so next level, gotcha. Then let's just get you concealment bombs. And another level up, wow. Fuck me, level up galore. Fan <laughs> finally, sorry. <laughs> Meant to say uh, fantastic and finally at the same time, I guess. So I can uh, finish off Crack's call. All right, so let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and I think we'll most likely finish off taking over the rest of the jungle of Pahualaxa. So I think maybe in the next uh, episode or so, we might be able to finish off um, Hexawaddle. Oh no. They've taken the uh, model of, of the fallen gods. Hmm. But you know what? I wouldn't mind leaving Hexawaddle with just one location left. And then we can just let these guys, um, or the exiles of Nehek, uh, take over the rest of it. Yeah. Because we don't really need the warp stone stuff. Because we're making a fuck ton as it is. Yeah, I think we're okay for that. And then we can uh, maybe get started on our next uh, ritual or something. Because I think that's about it. I think that's about all we have left in this campaign. It's pretty much just uh, taking over the, um, I guess, Central America portion of the continent here. And then uh, finishing off our rituals. Yeah, I think so. That's it, so complete all the rituals and do the final battle. So pretty much the standard um, 
you know, either Vortex stuff. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!